Oh, hey, what's up? I just got back from Lake Day, and goddamn, us Nintendo fans really are pretty much good for the whole year, aren't we? Yeah, I believe so. Yo, what's going on gents, ladies, non-binaries, and entities in between? My name is Ozranium, a Celestial Adrazi Planeswalker, but you can just call me Oz. I am coming to you uh, in a new sort of fashion today. Uh, something new because I wanted to talk about the recent Nendo Nintendo Direct that came out. Now, I know I'm a bit late on, you know, when it came out, but I really wanted to talk about it because, uh, honestly, this Direct kind of gave me much hope as a Nintendo fan what's going on for the later year and I really wanted to talk about it now before we get into it let me just say uh, now most people if they I'm doing like a rating system most people they do numerical you know 1 out of 10 or 1 out of 5 I ain't doing that I ain't doing that instead of doing numerical we are going to use a tier grade system with S being the best of the best that I cannot wait or D being the worst uh, I say about that is a perfect place just because and multiple factors can go part of it. Uh, it you know if I have interest in it previous games in the series art music etc I'm not gonna use E or F because I don't feel this needed or S plus so like the top of the top would be S and the lowest of low would be D the only time I ever put it like as F if I'm like yeah no this game is not needed but most likely not I'm not what I'm gonna do today but Let's get started with news. I will be going through it as I see it. And I might skip over a few titles because I'm just not interested in them. All right. And these are some of the times I actually try to have a little interest, but mm, not really. So let's get started with Pokemon Scarlet and Violet uh, Area Zero. Now, when I first saw uh, this, I was... I, I knew there was a DLC coming out. Yes, I knew the DLC was coming out. It was all good and set. I have played Pokemon when I was a youngin. Enjoyed the RPGs as a whole. And definitely was a fresh, de breath of fresh air when Scarlet and Violet came out. Because the definitely quality of life changes was good in the game. 100%. I really much enjoyed it. It was great. It was awesome. Um, was definitely better than Sword and Shield in my opinion, but um, I finished the whole story on my Twitch channel. But after that, it just slowly became mundane to me when I tried playing more because the story's gone. The story was done. It was ended. I'm like, yeah, I have no use for playing this game right now. So when I saw this DLC, I thought it was very interesting, 100%. Uh, but having both a countryside like part one and then going to technology in like the next the next part part two i do see the similar i do see like the polar opposites that they're pulling off with this and that's fine i don't mind i feel honestly this is just a mid dlc where it's like yeah i uh, music is going to be top notch it's i love the game and i am i am still interested but um it comes to a point where it's like i hope i hope there's going to be new challenges with new pokemon and stuff like that that it's going to be very much interesting to me when if I do play this uh, either, you know, offline or when I stream it. So overall, the score I would put on Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Area Zero is a B. It's a great, perfect mid DLC to be like, yep, boom, right there uh, going in. Now, Sonic Superstars, Sonic Superstars. Um... The only ever Sonic game I actually ever played when I was a youngin was Sonic Heroes. I never really got into the original Sonic franchise, so I kind of grew up on the 3D Mario uh, Sonic, sorry, 3D Sonic, and never really was a fan of the classic game modes and stuff like that. So I personally will not be playing this, 100%. Uh, but I think overall the music is okay. Uh, if it had online multiplayer, maybe, but I'm just more on, I have, I was never a Sonic fan as much as some of my other friends are. So I say overall, this score here is a C. Uh, it's, 
it's okay, but it's not really piqued my interest at all. All right, the next one is Palia. I have, okay, I have some interesting things about this one. Uh, Palia, uh, it, just, it just looks so boring. I'm sorry. This just looks like another fucking Minecraft Genshin Impact s game with on the Switch. That's all that is. Uh, when you played Minecraft for seven, uh, seven plus years and Genshin Impact for like half a year, you kind of understand the genre that is reaching out. And that's great if you want to really enjoy that, but it just looks way too similar to those games to me to even have interest in this. Uh, I'm just saying, the score is D, bro. This is the weak point in direct. I do not want to know more. Other players can love this. I can, I'm going to fucking hate it. There we go. All right, boom. Next one, let's go. All right. <sighs> oh, Persona 5 Tactica. Okay. Um, all right, I'm going to be honest. I have never really gone into any Persona series. I know. Shucker. The only game I considered playing was the fighting game, which is the Persona 4 Arena, I believe, when I was a fighting game player, competitive fighting game player. Honestly, which I got into Persona 3, 4, and 5, but the spinoffs are just okay. I I don't really know how I feel about them. They're just like, if they're not increasing the story and it's they're not actually canon, then are they worth my time? Maybe. Most likely, these are these games are for the diehard Persona fans. Honestly. They don't care what shit comes out for Persona 5. They're like, yes, yes, please, more Persona 5 content, yes, yes. But uh, overall, uh, score, C. Uh, I honestly am just like, yeah, this is just Persona eye candy. To me, nothing more. That's all I got to say about this. All right, next one. Uh, Myth Force. Now, Myth Force is... Uh, based on like the Saturday cartoons of over of EA old back in the day and stuff like that. So I the Saturday cartoons I grew up with are not like this. I didn't grow up on these Saturday night cartoons. I grew up on Cartoon Network, a bit of Nickelodeon, Disney, and PBS Kids. So honestly, overall, see, I have nothing more to say about this. This isn't really worth my time. All right. Splatoon 3. Splatoon 3. Okay. I love the Splatoon series as a whole. Even though I've never gone into Splatoon 1 since I did have a Wii U at the time, I got into 2 first, then 3. Overall, the game is super fun and I enjoyed it for a time. For a time. I tried getting into the competitive scene, but I feel that the meta is just too stingy for me with maps basically like hallways and the sniper meta is just a regular splat splat as a regular splatter shot player it gets yo it gets old for me and um i did enjoy some of the Splatfest. i didn't partake in some others but overall this Splatfest about ice cream fair enough it's summer you know you need that summer stuff but what's the most question for me is why didn't they do Neapolitan? Why didn't they do vanilla strawberry chocolate? That's the classic Neapolitan 3. Instead, we have vanilla <laughs> vanilla chocolate and mint chip. I'm like, okay. Odd choice, but I kind of see why they... I, I guess they want something different. I guess Splatoon, Stu, Splatoon Studio wanted something different. All right, okay. Um, but it has been looking interesting for me to play this. So, overall, the score is an A. Just a regular Splatoon Splatfest announcements. And maybe I'll return the game whenever I stream it. Okay. All right. Next one on the list. Next one. All right. Oh, yeah. yeah okay. De Detective Pikachu Returns. I never got into this Pikachu Pokemon spin off too much. I was focused dead hard on the the main storyline RPG that is what I am uh, and I didn't watch the movie okay it was Brian Reynolds all right so I can only figure Detective Pikachu would sound similar to D Ryan Reynolds no he does not sound similar to Ryan Reynolds he has more of a thicker voice and stuff like that 
Uh, and he did, I do, I do kind of get the comedy aspect in, in him. He's a, he loves coffee. He's a detective. He's basically the Sherlock of Pokemon, basically, right? Uh, and honestly, maybe, um, I don't know. I honestly don't know if I would get into this 100%. I really am on the fence on this. But that Slowpoke with a Fedora, though, that might be the selling point for me. Honestly, that might be the selling point for me. So, overall, score is a B. Uh, Pokemon fans will definitely love this. Um, I might, I might dive into it. I might dive in if people really want me to. Now this, this, Super Mario RPG remake. So this is a f fucking biggie, by boys and girls. I grew up missing this RPG, Mario's first ever RPG. It was one of the games I really wanted Square Enix and Nintendo to remake because I never got into the original. I never had a, a uh, SNES, I believe, and I never gotten into this game. I really wanted to because I was 100% a fan of the Mario and Luigi series from Alpha Dream. And uh, while they're not part of the same story and company, those games would have probably not been possible because of Super Mario RPG. Uh, and giving a remake, uh, hopefully, with new, like, shit and everything, like, updates and the quality of life probably fixes that, what the, the hopefully, the RPG's gonna get. I cannot wait to tr definitely, to try this out. 100%. Definitely playing this. I am honestly glad I get to check a chance for a well-deserved RPG. And hopefully, more RPGs will get remakes of the same in the same Mario aspect, please. Overall score S all the way. Ah yes, the new Peach game teaser. Okay, now out of just for out of just context, I'm just gonna call it Super Princess Peach 2, just because that's what I'm gonna just call it right now. It's not it's not I, there is no official name of course, but I am honestly quite surprised about this one. I am glad that the Super Princess Peach fans are getting a taste of more to finally fill their appetite. I've seen some people really like Princess Peach, and uh, I never really got into that game. Uh, but it's just nice. That's it. It's honestly just nice. The teaser is very small. There's no name or anything. Kind of similar of uh, Tears, uh, Tears of the Kingdom before the name drop of Zelda. But uh, overall, score is a C. It's nice, but I'm not really interested to play it at all. All right, next one. Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon Remake. I have played Luigi's Mansion 3. I did enjoy the game. I love the concept of Luigi being in his own story from a, from the first being a buster of ghosts. <laughs> okay, thanks, Outline, for editing my notes, but... um. Honestly, uh, I do love the cat, like his, I do love his just mood and just atmosphere when he, when Luigi play is in his environment. I love the cowardly version of Brave that he wears on a sleeve. So seeing a remake of Dark Moon is awesome, but I definitely hear a mix coming from other creators. I've seen some people are like, no, why, why is this here? Why? Why? And others are like, yes, yes. Luigi's Mansion Knock Mode, yes, epic, yay! I mean, I guess some people just prefer the 3DS, but I honestly think it's good. Overall, scores a B. Definitely a good game to, think, to get into, just for the super diehard Luigi Mansion fans. Alright, now, <laughs> Batman Arkham Trilogy. Okay, I don't know, Chief. Uh, when I've seen that, when I, when I have seen Batman Arkham Trilogy, what I know is the Switch can't handle certain limitations, doesn't have, has certain limitations, okay? It's not gonna go good, good on a high-end game like Batman Arkham Trilogy, I, let me just say. It's not gonna compare to the best of the other, of the other platforms at the time, Okay? Scores a D. My brother used to be a DC fan. I grew up on Marvel. That's all. 
I got to say on this shit. Gloomhaven. Uh, I personally don't care this about this. This is just another fantasy game that's not really worth my time. Score D. That's all I got to say about Gloomhaven. I don't care. Yep. Oh, no. Just Dance 2024. Oh, my God. Oh my fucking god. This is just a fucking another cash grab. That is all that Ubisoft wants. They keep releasing this every single year and I'm like, why? It's like, I played the Wii version. It's, But I only played the Wii version because I had nothing the fuck to do when I was younger. I was living in the middle of a fucking valley with only a Wii and a heart. And I'm like, fuck, I guess I'll play this game that I have in my closet. And I'm like, no, it's just another dance game. Like, why? We don't need this. We don't need this. This game will probably go on forever until we die. And especially the fucking, like, yeah, add the other songs. Add the other songs. And not just get a fucking, like, monthly subscription for the older songs. Put all of them in one game. And just have it and update it for each year. That's what you should fucking do. But no, that's what they don't do. Score. D. Nobody wants this. Ever. Mario and Rabbids Sparks of Hope DLC. So. Who even likes Rabbids? Honestly. Who in, the, in their own universe likes Rabbids? Honestly, give me anyone who likes rabbits because I don't I personally don't This is I hate this. This shit is just so bad. I didn't like the original It's just to me. That's just fucking horrendous. I don't care. I don't care It's so bad. I don't like it. I don't like how Mario is in Entrapped in this rabbit world. I'm like no I just hate rabbits at it core at his design just adding Mario makes me sick to my stomach. I'm, this is the first F on the this. This gets its own rank. It's score F. I'm sorry. It gets its own fucking rank. It deserves it. It's gonna stay there. <sighs> Dragon Quest Monsters: The Dark Prince. Uh, I rewatched this a bit. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of Dragon Quest. Didn't grow up on Dragon Quest. Uh, and then I, I know my friends actually rewatched it with me, and they're like, "Oh no, another Dragon Quest that's actually like Pokemon." Okay, <laughs> score D. Uh, I don't really need to say much more, honestly. If it's for Dragon Heart, it's for Dragon Quest who are really D hard, but I'm not a Dragon Quest fan. I'll play Fortune Street. That's like the only game that's similar, I guess, that I actually like. But other than that, nah. Okay, now on to another biggie. Pick Min Four. I am super excited for Pikmin 4. At the time of this recording, I have completed Pikmin 1, going through 2 right now on stream, and has completed the demo of Pikmin 4. I don't want to get into the details for this, um, because I'll talk about it after, like at the end, but uh, I see great promise in this game. Uh, I feel that it looks, it looks amazing, 100%. The style looks amazing. Uh, Ochi, of course, who doesn't want a puppy? Especially in a Pikmin game. Oh, OG looks so super cute. It looks amazing. I love it. I, I, like, once I got into Pikmin 1, I'm like, oh, damn. This is actually, this is actually interested in me. I'm, like, actually interested in this shit. And, uh, I definitely have to say, I cannot wait till next month, basically. Or, basically, in, like, uh, later in this month. I can't wait. I'm definitely going to be playing this a lot on stream. Uh, score S S another S good on them S uh, Vampire survivors uh, This is a this is a very interesting game. That's um, that's just basically it's it's an auto attack it's like auto attack game where it's like it's like uh, Boss not boss rush uh, What am I saying PVE there we go? It's I believe it's a PVE game because it's player versus everyone or every enemy or player versus a lot of enemies basically so 100% it looks good I saw I saw it on PC ver on Steam version it looks great I like 
pixel pixel art is very nice and constantly evolving to get get rid of so many very nice uh overall this game is a b because it's i feel it's a good mid game for me and if it's gonna be it says local co-op i really hope it's online if it's not online then i'm just gonna play on the same version so overall b uh penny's break uh, pe pe yeah just penny bi big breakaway <laughs> Now, this actually looks interesting. Um, it's from the people that, uh, it's from the studio, kind of the studio heads that, you know, I believe that helped with Sonic Media or made Sonic Media. And overall, it looks pretty nice. It looks smooth. The, game, the animation looks smooth. It looks amazing. Um, I never thought I'd be interested in this, but going against penguins and stuff like that, huh. Very interesting. A yo yo steamstress against a, a load of penguins. King's penguin. I'm going to put this as a B because it's another mid game. It's like, oh, okay. Looks very nice. Looks very nice. I might be interested. We'll see. We'll see. But overall, it's a B. All right, next. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe DLC Pass 5. I am will always be a competitive Mario Kart player. Down to my heart. Since I've played in the competitive scene in this game. 100%. Glad to see some old care, some old, a little bit of old cares return. Petey Piranha, Wiggler, and Kamek out of all places from tour and stuff. I'm glad to see that these characters are coming to get some spotlight and stuff. Cannot wait to see. I love the new tracks. Squeaky clean sprint looks amazing. 100%. Cannot wait. We'll be playing this a lot with viewers and stuff like that on my stream. So definitely. Score a promising results and glad I don't want to see the other tracks because I can't I, I kind of want that's a little secret That's it. That's just how it is uh, 100% oh, it's star ocean. Okay star ocean What I don't get I don't I don't get the thought of Square Enix being like hey, let's put most of our 2d uh, games uh, Just have 2d 2d pixel art with 3d elements uh i don't get that that's personally not i don't i don't know it's just it's just another rpg from square enix and it's like you could say you could say that about mario but honestly anime rp jrpgs like anime rpgs like this it's just they're all so very similar sometimes and it's like yep um the only the only element they have out of this one is the just quick time i guess like like real time actually fighting and stuff but i heard it was just one at one button and so it's just fucking mashing you know just fucking mashing like probably like this like oh chain 10 oh because i mashed a 10 times and it's like yeah i don't know this is a c for me it's not my cup of tea <laughs> but i'm sure people who are very big swearing fans are probably going to be fine with it so Wario where move move it uh, only played the Wii game uh, it was all right I don't know about this one for me though honestly I heard from the first one that it wasn't actually like an actual Wario where game like this that's my that's coming out and I'm like why didn't they do that why did they wait until now and it's like okay yeah they just waited until I guess if they got I guess they now had to get ideas and stuff so honestly WarioWare movement uh is gonna be a it was all right it was gonna be a b honestly it's a b and we guess i guess we can talk about uh i guess pax west and then nintendo live and that's like okay that's actually very interesting because i might i want to maybe actually go if people really honestly want me to go to like seattle right and actually go to an event and actually play my in the you know that last last chance qualifier for mario kart and stuff i might go I, re I might be interested to go but i'm most likely gonna go to pax east before pax west so i don't know i don't have to say about that but that's all i gotta say there but it, it doesn't really need a rating because it's not really a game or a game or anything like that it's just an announcement and stuff but hey and t i said to your kingdom amiibo you know don't don't really you know it's just amiibo it's just amiibo i don't really need to rate that it also, a lot of people on Tears of the Kingdom are like, 
I cannot wait for Tears of the Kingdom DLC. And I'm like, bro, it's been one month. Let let Zelda let, let Zelda cook for a bit before DLC comes out, please. Please. <sighs> Alright. Last one of the day. Super Mario Bros. Wonder. It has been 11 years. 2D Mario platformer is my childhood. I grew up playing the series. Super went hard on the new Bros games. Even though I do see the problems they face with having not much quality of life changes. Same art style, only new power-ups in this. But this! This gives me hope. Voice acting from a flower. Uh, the art is magnificent, 100%. The art is so good. Daisy and Yoshi are now playable. Uh, there's new, pa of course, new power-ups. Uh, the Wonder Flower that basically actually makes the fucking, the funny joke. The funny joke. Of where, you know, Mario's on, Mario's on shrooms, you know, he's, you know, he has the shrooms, he's gonna be up there. And I'm like, okay, yeah, this is, this is good. I, lo I love this concept. I cannot wait. Um, music is godlike. Uh, <laughs> I cannot wait to see what they got. Oh, and of course, of course, Elephant Mario. That's going to be a meme for like a few months until it comes out in October. They've been sitting on this for so long. And I'm glad. I'm honestly glad. I'm glad. I'm the, Finally, the wait is finally. The wait has finally done. Don't have to worry about it. Cannot wait. S. Another S here. In this. Another S here. That's all I need to say. So. Out of the whole direct. This has been one of the best directs I have they have finally handed us in a while. As I said before, us Mario fans specifically are going to be eating he like heartily this year. We're going to be chomping down on the good bits, baby. Let's go. But um, oh, what do you guys think about how my opinions on this direct? I kind of like want to do this more content more often. Maybe like talk about games and stuff like this and kind of this kind of format every week i'm not really too sure but uh if you have any other opinions that you need to tell me tell in the comments below because i know i know i might have pissed off some people but you never know you never know you can agree with me or you cannot that's how it is with the internet but that is it that is going to be it for me for this video i do hope you guys enjoyed it uh, if you want to see more content like this, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. I'm trying. I would like to get to. Uh, I would like to get a YouTube partner, and uh, since now is the now the place is very closer. Well, basically the threshold is very closer. It'd be very much appreciated if you help me and support my content and share my and share my shit around. So thank you guys, everybody, ladies, gentlemen, non binaries and entities in between. I do hope. You had a good one, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.